Thanks to Rolinda Sharples, an American portrait artist residing in Bristol at the time, we get a fair idea of the wise and good that surrounded Ramahan in that city. An elaborate courtroom scene that she painted depicts the trial of Colonel Brereton, charged with the ineffective handling of the Bristol riots of 1831. Crowds in favour of the Reform Bill protested the arrival into the city of Sir Charles Wetherall, the recorder of Bristol, who had denounced its democratic reforms. The mob turned violent and looted, pillaged and gutted government buildings. Though Brereton dithered and may have sympathised with them as charged, in fact he needed permission from Mayor Charles Pinney to use force that was not issued till it was too late. Under immense pressure, Brereton took his own life before the trial ended. Pinney, however, was acquitted. Rolinda felt such sympathy for Brereton that she painted him to look like a handsome young man, though he was in his mid-fifties at this time. In fact, Rolinda had a tendency to paint people to look much younger, which makes it tricky sometimes to identify the people in this painting. Also, as this was very likely drawn from memory, not all of those shown may have been present, including her mother, often her favourite subject. Nevertheless, it provides a priceless glimpse of the texture of contemporary Bristol society that Ram Mohan saw. Carla explains its special connection with the Raja. Now the Bristol riots happened in 1831. So when she paints in Raja Ram Mohan Roy, that is historical license, he was actually busy in London giving all his evidence to the Privy Council. Rolinda Sharples also somewhat modestly paints herself in, busy sketching, and her mother over here. Now I have a theory that Rolinda Sharples either met or spoke with people who knew the young Roger Rum because this boy in the portrait is clearly a teenager and Roger Rum, the adopted son of Roger Rum and Roy, came to Bristol for holidays to Land Carpenter. So I think that what is painted here, officially it was supposed to be the Raja, his adoptive father, but it was not. It is a young boy. The clothes are similar to those worn by Raja Rambok and Roy. The um, Bengali fixed topi as well is exactly the same. But in fact it is a portrait of a young boy and it's misnamed by Rolinda Shuffles as Raja Rambok and Roy. She didn't get a fax right. It is the extreme left-hand corner that is the interesting part of this portrait by Rolinda Sharples. Catherine Castle, Ram Mohan Roy's um, hostess at Beach House, then Stapleton Grove. She was a young heiress. I think this is her father, Mr. Castle, who had died just a year or two before Ram Mohan Roy came to Bristol, and Anne Cadell, who lived with Catherine Castle at Stapleton Grove and was the, uh, the hostess for Raja Ram, the young boy, and Raja Ram Mohan Roy, his adopted father, and the two Hindu servants from Calcutta. This is the great portrait of Raja Ram Mohan Roy, painted in 1831, which currently hangs in the Bristol City Museum and Art Gallery. It was painted by Henry Perronet Brooks, who was a painter with royal patronage, uh, later on Queen Victoria. Um, a first-class painter and a first-class portrait, one and a half times life size, by the way. Um, this portrait was the subject of a very interesting lecture by Max Muller in 1873, when he opened the museum here and he took the portrait as the theme of his talk which was on Raja Ram Mohan Roy himself and the Bristol newspapers of the day um, recorded that in detail. Um, the portrait itself is, as I said, an allegory. If you look at it, he is holding in his right hand a book. It was traditionally taken to be the Bible. Behind him, on his right, there is a, a, 
a mosque and a Hindu temple. And what the portrait is trying to show in its background is the way in which the Raja symbolized and joined together in his theistic society, the Brahma Samaj, the three major religions in India. The two older religions, Hinduism of course the oldest of the lot, the imported Muslim Islam, and later on the missionaries who were very busy, the Christian missionaries, in Calcutta in Bengal at his time.